G'day readers, well here we are again, myself and Lance, Dr Phil, for the Trail Zone team. We're down at Cohen Forest 2011, the Cohen Ride, held by the DSMRA, they're a brilliant mob of guys. The, uh, the Cohen Ride has been on for many years now, they've given away uh, 450 WRFs here, Kawasaki 450Rs, this year they're giving away a DRZ 400, it's a brilliant place to be. Myself and Lance love the forests here, there's open trails, single trails, in fact there's only one thing missing here, the boss, Clubby. He was to meet us here in the car park this morning, a couple of hours ago, but uh, where is he Lance? I, I don't know Phil, but... Uh, oh. Coming back from the Tenere Tragics ride. track start where do we go well we're just in there, heading into it right now actually all right well i'll lead the way okay see you there girl follow me come on track cubby. Um, there, right. There's a real enduro bike over there. I think I need to find a tar road. I'll see you guys back at the car park, eh? After the trauma of having to lift the Super Tenere, Pop Gun sped off on his own and hit the single track. If there's one thing about the Cohen ride, it's the endless miles of single track through the state forest. The DSMRA annual Cohen ride features 60 to 70k loops that you can explore over two days. Then again, you can spend the best part of the day standing at the top of Lamb Chop Hill and take in the carnage. There's nothing more soul destroying than being marooned on the side of Lamb Chop Hill and having somebody ride past you effortlessly. This guy clearly had no friends but then again I don't think he really cared. A bit like Pop Gun. Nevertheless, the first rule of hill climbs is if you want to avoid an obstacle, don't look at it. Porky, one and a half legs, how does he do it? But he won't stop, he'll get up here. Might take a while, but he will get up. After Porky's high-speed attempt at tree-hugging, the next rider of note is Decimal Dave Morgan, who attacked the hill on a Honda XR650. Unfortunately, Dave didn't factor a trail-blocking Suzuki into his calculations and promptly went down.
While the DSMRA crew pulled in the heavy lift equipment for Decibel Dave on Lamb Chop Hill, we headed the Russian Blackberry Tunnel of Death for our annual Mudfest, and it never fails to deliver. Just another day in the trail zone, I'd say. Now, sorry Russ, did you say something? I can't hear, I've got something in my ear. Oh. Oh. You can read about the Cohen Forest Ride in issue 36 of Trail Zone magazine. To find out more about future DSMRA rides, go to www.dsmra.asn.au.